We're 92 months into this expansion. So it's seven and a half years of economic expansion uninterrupted. Uh, the complaint has been that while it's been an expansion and probably the third longest of the 33 on record, so it's been a really long, solid expansion, um, the, the, the complaint has been it's been a slow growth and it's been averaging about 2%. And for 2017, both nationally and in North Carolina, we're looking again at about 2%. North Carolina, I think we're going to get 2.3% for the year in terms of economic growth. Uh, but, you know, we seem to be stuck in that pattern. There are a variety of reasons why we are. But nevertheless, that seems to be the case for 2017. And like 2016, where the growth was a little stronger, 2.5%, uh, we expect to add about another 85,000 net jobs to the economy. Um, well, that's a good job number. Because we have in-migration uh, folks coming into the state, um, that job creation number, 85,000, is probably just about enough to keep the unemployment rate right around 5% where, where, where it is right now. We've had a period of, of about five years of stagnant productivity nationally. And when you look at the national productivity over the last five years, it's essentially flat, maybe just slightly positive, but essentially flat. Productivity is important because it's one of the two sources of economic growth. Only two things can generate increases in real GDP. Productivity growth, which is output per worker. From one year to the next, if workers make more, then GDP goes up with the same number of workers. The other thing is labor force growth. So if you increase the amount of labor force and they remain just as productive, GDP will go up because you have more workers. All right? You increase both of them, it's a double bang. What we know right now is we've had labor force stagnant, stagnation uh, for quite some time, simply because the baby boomers, which is a big group of folks, are aging out of the labor force and retiring. And the groups that are coming up behind them are, are about the same size, but they're about to get actually smaller than the groups that are leaving. So labor force growth is not going to be a source of growth in the economy going forward. So we're going to have to rely on productivity growth, yet we've had this stagnant period of productivity growth for the last five years. Well, it's stagnant nationally. but. When you look at it on a state-by-state -state basis, what you find out is that 30 of the states have actually had negative productivity growth over the past five years. And North Carolina is one of those states. And in fact, North Carolina, on average, worker productivity has declined by six, almost seven-tenths of a percent per year for the past five years. And what that means is that today, in real terms, workers in North Carolina produce about $2,600 lower level of, of output per worker than they did in 2010. And that's very disconcerting. This is one of the big reasons why we don't see wages going up. It's just simply that productivity has, has dropped in this state and you know people are basically paid the value of their productivity and if their productivity is going down their wages are going to be stagnant. Um, this is problematic because it makes it very very difficult going forward after another year or two for us to even achieve the 2% growth rate. Because right now we're, we're closing the gap of unused resources that were unemployed during the recession. And so we're using those, putting them back to work, and, and, and we're getting 2% you know, GDP growth. But you know, in another year or so, that gap's gone. All those, all those idle resources will, in fact, be, be used. And so we've got to really start to think, not just in, in North Carolina, but nationally, about the kinds of policies that we could implement that would put a, you know, a B, if you will, under, under the uh, productivity growth and uh, try to get that thing back up in the two, two and a half percent range. So it's very important that we, we start to talk about productivity and we start to realize that we need to implement policies that will deal with this productivity issue.